Kelly Riley, who plays the fierce Beth Dutton, and Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser, spill some beans that season five isn't the end of Yellowstone. And in one interview, our cowboy Hauser has even claimed that they're already preparing for season six. And because of that, all of the fans who knew about this are so excited about what might happen in Yellowstone season six. Even if the second part of season five isn't filming yet, they firmly said that season five of Yellowstone ain't the end of the line. And according to Hausa, Taylor Sheridan is writing up the story for season six of our beloved Western series. So, Cole Hausa and Kelly Riley confirmed it, and Sheridan is writing the story. Does this really mean that we're not saying goodbye to the Dutton family after season five, part two? What will happen to Yellowstone season six? Who are the possible casts? Is Costner really leaving Yellowstone? To answer all your questions, we need to don our Sherlock Holmes caps, whip out our magnifying glasses, and get down to some serious detective work. We're about to connect the dots between all these recent whispers and rumors to find out what will happen to our favorite series. Please, let us introduce you to everything we know about Yellowstone Season 6. The Unwritten Scripts of January This is the first rumor that came out. In January, Kevin Costner is ready to shoot the second half of Season 5. He is excited to finish up the season. But the problem is the scripts. The co-creator and writer of our beloved Yellowstone, Taylor Sheridan, failed to present the scripts to Costner. And also, rumors said that while the shooting of the first half of season five, Sheridan repeatedly failed to deliver the scripts on time. Why? Because he's working on so many Yellowstone prequels and spin-offs. We're going to tackle this more later in this video. And this is both good and bad for the flagship series. Bad because, come on, take a look at it. If this rumor is true, Yellowstone will lose the Dutton Patriarch actor Kevin Costner, and he is carrying the show since its debut in 2018. Why? Well, if Taylor Sheridan is busy, how about Kevin Costner? He is currently directing the so-called Horizon, and also signed an eight docuseries titled Kevin Costner The West, where we will witness the true impact of West and the real story behind it. And back to Yellowstone. This is good because it gives Sheridan the power to expand the Yellowstone universe and keep its vibes for a very long time. So even your grand-grandchild could still watch it. The 60 days in one week of February. And the next month after January, February of course, we saw a rumor spreading faster than a prairie fire. A trusted source in the media started chirping about a supposed showdown at the Yellowstone Corral between Kevin Costner and the big bosses over at Paramount. Now, here's the kicker. The rumor mill was buzzing that Costner, our favorite ranch boss John Dutton, wanted to trim down the shooting days for the second part of season 5 from a hefty 60 days to, get this, just one week. But hold your horses. Costner's attorney was quick to stomp out that wildfire by saying to Puck News, and we're quoting here folks, the idea that Kevin was only willing to work one week on the second half of season 5 of Yellowstone is an absolute lie. He added that Costner is as passionate about Yellowstone as a cowboy is about his horse, always going above and beyond to make sure the show is a hit. Meanwhile, the patriarch of Paramount Network had their say too. They confirmed that Kevin Costner is a big part of Yellowstone and we hope that's the case for a long time to come. They praised the genius of Taylor Sheridan and hinted at expanding this incredible cowboy universe he's created. But hold on, because they threw another fuel to the fire. They said Matthew McConaughey is a phenomenal talent with whom we'd love to partner with. Then, in March, the CEO, Chris McCarthy of the Paramount Media Networks, confirmed to The Hollywood Report. And he added that there's a new spin-off in the works, and it's going ahead whether Costner stays on the Yellowstone Ranch or not. Later in this video, we're going to talk about this in more detail. For now, let's saddle up and try to remember the issue of Yellowstone and Pallyfest. Well, in case you don't know that, and you have no idea what the heck the Pallyfest is, it's the event where all the TV stars get to strut their stuff and fans get a chance to meet them. And this year, for the first time, Yellowstone was on the ticket. But things didn't go as planned. Imagine that you're all dolled up and ready to meet the creator of Yellowstone, Taylor Sheridan, and the whole gang of stars, including Kevin Costner, Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Kelsey Asbiel, Wes Bentley, Gil Birmingham, and Jackie Weaver. But you won't believe this, none of them showed up. Yep, not a single one of the announced stars made it to the event. Instead, the stage was graced by Josh Lucas, Wendy Moniz, Mo Brings Plenty, and Don Oliveri with Keith Cox from Paramount Network. And the reason for this switcheroo? Well, they said it was scheduling conflicts. You heard it right, scheduling conflicts. Again. 
Scheduling conflicts with Kevin Costner about the shooting of the show. Scheduling conflicts to attend the diehard fans who invested time and money to see them in person. Come on! Yellowstone cannot have 17 million viewers without the fans. And speaking of fans, those who had shelled out their hard-earned money for tickets were none too pleased, and they let the Pally Center know it on social media. They were mad as Beth to Jamie, demanding refunds and calling out the no-shows. Comments ranged from fans calling the situation disrespectful and disappointing to others expressing their disgust and disbelief. Yellowstone Ballooning Universe If until now you are watching, we bet that you have watched 1923, haven't you? Well, saddle up because it's galloping into another season. And the first prequel, 1883, that hit right in the feels? Well, more episodes have been announced, though we're still hanging on the edge of our seats waiting for when they'll ride into town. But wait! Back in 2021, Sheridan let it slip that he was wrangling up a spin-off, codenamed Four Sixes, which is pronounced as Four Sixes, not 6666 or 6666. This tale is set on the historic Four Sixes Ranch in the heart of Texas, and it's slated to hit our screens in 2023. And wait, we're not finished with spinoffs yet, because Taylor Sheridan's 1883, The Bass Reeves Story, are currently being whipped into shape. And just like a wild stallion, they're keeping us guessing with no confirmed premiere dates yet. But hold on to your hat, because Sheridan's not done yet. He's also got plans to create two more series in the Yellowstone world. The only scoop for these two is that one series will take us back to the 1940s, and the other will give us a taste of the 1960s. We put this prequel in spinoffs here for a reason because you won't believe this. Paramount announces new series that has Yellowstone's name on it. Yes, that's right. Paramount Network has gone and done it. They've ordered a modern-day sequel series. And guess what? Some of our favorite faces from Yellowstone will be joining this new adventure. Now, as we said earlier, we've got a big-name star in talks to join the sequel series. The Oscar winner, Matthew McConaughey. MTV Entertainment Studios and 101 Studios are teaming up to produce this new show. And they're as excited as a kid at a rodeo. David Glasser, CEO of 101 Studios, says the Dutton story will ride on and they can't wait to share this new chapter with fans all over the world. Chris McCarthy, president and CEO of Showtime slash MTV Entertainment Studios, is confident that the Yellowstone sequel will be another smash hit, thanks to Taylor Sheridan's genius and the amazing cast who bring these stories to life. Now, this new series is going to make its home on the Paramount Plus streaming service. You might remember that the original Yellowstone series is streaming on Peacock, a decision that has some Paramount folks kicking themselves. But hey, at least the new series will be joining its Yellowstone Universe siblings on Paramount+. Plus. So, with all these rumors swirling around like a dust storm, we're still left with one big question. What will happen to Yellowstone Season 6? Maybe we can adjust and add a twist to that question to make it more accurate. The right question to ask is, will there be a Season 6 of Yellowstone? You won't believe this, cowboy, because the farewell of Yellowstone is now official. This May 2023, Paramount finally spilled the beans that Yellowstone will wrap up with the second half of Season 5. Yes, it will end right after the second part of Season 5. The filming for it is set to start in August of 2023, and we'll witness through our very own eyes how Yellowstone will end in November 2023. So now you know that it's officially no Season 6. There's no point in making theories and speculations about it. However, we can shift our focus on what might happen in Season 5 Part 2, because the first half set the stage for an explosive second half. Jamie made a bold move against John, and Beth threatened to spill some family secrets. Jamie and Beth declared war on each other, and the tension was thicker than a Texas steak. However, there is no announcement if Costner will show up in Season 5 Part 2.